I have two windows open here. On the left is Photoshop, and on the right is a mirror image of my iPhone. So here inside of Photoshop, I have a very large file. You can see there are many groups. Each of those are containing many, many layers as well. And if I look inside of the Properties panel, this is over 5,000 pixels wide, and the actual file size is over half a gigabyte in size. So this is a monster file, and I've deliberately chosen a very large file just to show you how quickly and how well this works, even with large assets. So here's what I'm thinking. I've got this large file. I'd like to quickly review what it will look like on my iPhone. So I'm going to take advantage of the share feature inside of Photoshop. But first things first, I need to make sure AirDrop is turned on on my iPhone. So I should point out here, guys, if it wasn't clear earlier, sorry, this is an Apple only thing. So I'm here on a MacBook Pro laptop and I have my iPhone. So it's all within the Apple family. So I can take advantage of this Apple technology called AirDrop. So here on my iPhone, if I swipe up from the bottom, I get this menu. The icons in the upper left corner just there, if I click and hold on that, it will bring up this expanded view. I have the AirDrop icon down the bottom left. If I tap on that, I will then click on everyone. So I've now turned on AirDrop. I'll tap outside of that box to close that and swipe down to dismiss that. So I have now turned on AirDrop on my iPhone. So back here inside of Photoshop, let's go to the upper right corner and I'm looking for this little button just here, which is share an image. So if I click on that, you can see I could actually export out the original file size. Just for the sake of speed, I'll just choose this smaller one just here. So that will be 854 by 1200 pixels. I have all of these excellent options which I can choose just down here, but again, we're going to go with AirDrop. So if I click on that, my computer's just having a quick think. And there you go, it's already found my iPhone. So all I have to do is click on this entry just here. And there it is there on my iPhone. So if I just click on accept, that has now saved that image to the photos section of my iPhone. So back here inside of Photoshop, I can just click on done and continue to edit. So that's it there guys, taking advantage of AirDrop on your Apple products to quickly share something from Photoshop out to your other devices.